In this video, I'm going to review the organs of the body that you're responsible for. As we go through the semester, we will add to this, or you'll have to know more details about each of the organs. But for this first exam, I just want you to have a general overview of where things are. We'll start up here. This uh, blue tube right here is the trachea. These are the lungs. This is the heart. Okay. The diaphragm is a muscle that runs right here. The reason the square is here is because it shows you above the diaphragm and above are part of the thoracic cavity. Okay. And this square down here is showing you the abdominal pelvic cavity. But that diaphragm, that muscle you'll see on the bottom of that lung, um, it's about the same color as this, is the diaphragm. Here we have the liver, and here is the gallbladder. This is the stomach. This structure here is the small intestine all this tan. F right here is the large intestine and again we'll learn more individual parts of it later on. So again trachea, lungs, heart, diaphragm, everything in here in the box is above the diaphragm as part of the thoracic cavity. Liver, gallbladder, stomach, small intestine, and F is the large intestine and everything below the diaphragm in here is part of the abdominal pelvic cavity. Now taking all those organs out and we're looking at the lower portion we see the kidneys, the adrenal gland, the ureters, there's one here and one here and then this is the bladder. What you see here is part of the small intestine, the beginning, which will have a separate name later on, but for now it's just small intestine. This is the pancreas. It sits posterior to the stomach, and this is the spleen. Okay. So we have the kidneys. You can see this one's posterior. You can't see it very well. On top of the kidneys we have the adrenal glands, small intestine, ureters, here and here, and bladder. And up here is the spleen and the pancreas. Now we look up higher and here you see the trachea again here you see parts of the lung but uh, posterior to the trachea is the esophagus which will lead down to the stomach. So you have to see that you have to take out the heart. Up here again you see the trachea but up here you see a little gland and that's called the thyroid gland. It's a butterfly shape. It's pretty high up. So again the trachea is here and this is the thyroid gland. Now, looking at the reproductive organs, looking at the male, okay, this is the scrotum. Within the scrotum are the testes, and then this is the penis. Again, scrotum is the sac, in the sac is the testes, and then the penis. Over here with the female, this is the bladder. Okay. This is the uterus. This is the vagina. This is the ovaries. You don't need to worry about this one right now, so you need to know ovaries uterus and vagina and again it just shows you how the uterus um, relates to anatomically to where the bladder is. So again scrotum is the sac, testes inside and the penis, uterus, vagina and ovaries. So again go over that make sure you take the practice test um, and review. You can also listen to the podcast, the audio podcast to help you learn these organs.